For most applications, what you'll want to do is set an auto mode flow rate, which is basically uh, just a function that allows you to enter a quartz per day set point. And the controller is essentially going to calculate the amount of on time and off time the controller needs to hit that target set point. So to do that, what we'll do is press the yes and exit buttons again to enter the programming menu. Menu to scroll through to rate settings. Press yes to enter the sub menu. Timing mode, there's a few options here to where you can select from either real time, which is gonna let you enter an hours, minutes, seconds value in terms of a 24 hour day, or intermittent. Most commonly what we see is that intermittent's uh, the most commonly used. Press menu once you're on the correct setting. Cycle mode is gonna let you select between auto and manual. Auto is gonna allow you to enter a quartz per day set point and if you've performed a calibration previously, it's gonna use that calibration to determine the amount of on-off time. If not, if you've configured the pump physical characteristics in the pump settings menu, it'll use a, a calculated value to determine the amount of on and off time the pump needs to hit that target. So for now, we'll set it to auto mode, which is gonna let us enter that quartz per day set point. And for the auto rate, this is where you'll actually set the, the value of quartz per day that you want to inject. So we'll set this one to 10 quartz per day. Press menu to scroll the next screen. And then cycle duration is gonna control the total overall cycle duration. Uh, so for instance, in a five minute cycle, you may turn the pump on for two minutes, off for three minutes. What you can do is we have three different options here for either 30 seconds if you want more frequent cycles, one minute or five minute options if you need less frequent cycles. So once you've selected the right cycle duration, press menu to advance the next screen. Temperature mode allows you if you're pumping for an application such as methanol or something that's temperature dependent. This will let you enable or disable the pump based on the temperature. Uh, so when the temperature falls below a different uh, a set point, the temperature mode switched will only kick the pump on when the temperature falls below a certain set point that you establish. Whereas scale allows you to set up a couple different values and scale to where the pump will kick on or inject at a constant rate until a certain temperature is hit, and then scale the flow rate up as the temperature decreases to inject more methanol, for instance. And then once the temperature hits its maximum point, uh, it'll inject at basically a maximum rate that you're allowed to set. So press menu, we'll, we'll assume for this one, we'll just disable the temperature mode. Press menu to go to the next screen. Just gonna ask you to exit and save. Press yes to exit and save, and you're back at the main menu. From here you can press exit to go back to the idle screens.